Welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one is on low poly logo design. We have seen lots of videos, but not many of them explain how to actually draw the hexagon, the poly shape, and how to get you decent complementary colors or monochromatic colors. So let's get rid of this stuff and get started. You are gonna to wanna to draw an art board. Move that guy over there. This artboard is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels high and in the background is a radial gradient. Um, you can see, if I zoom out, that's my radial gradient. So we've got light, medium to a darker color. If you want to copy these colors, the CMYK value is 6, 10, 15, 0 for the lightest. And your next one on location is about 62% is 20 29 38 0 and the darkest one 48 47 54 0 so those are your colors pick whatever background you like we can change the colors later so let's select that background and just lock it down with command 2. we'll leave this shape over here just for reference and we're going to get started lots of different methods you do actually have a polygon tool uh, if you can't see it, it could be under the rectangle or ellipse tool. So start with the polygon tool, click and drag and hold shift. There you go. Whatever size you like. It's filled it in with the gradient in the background. But for now, let's just do a plain gray or something like that. And we're going to rotate 30 degrees. Okay. Put stick 30 in there and click OK. Now, that is just going to be our guide for later so let's actually do it as a stroke so drag your fill color over to your stroke and drag click none for your fill color that's going to be our guide for later click on the polygon tool again click and hold and press the down cursor and that's going to get you a perfect equilateral triangle which is important it needs to have equal sides hold shift so it comes out flat now let's switch from stroke to fill and get rid of the stroke that started one. So let's start, we're gonna start with this top triangle and then go down. So you're gonna Alt, Shift, click and drag. Alt, Shift, click and drag. And then when you get the rotate, rotate and hold Shift 180 degrees. And drag him up, holding Shift until he snaps in this place. Again, Alt and click. This time you don't need to hold anything, but we'll just drag it down here until it snaps, intersects with that. Again, Alt, Shift, drag across, and we line up over there. Let's just change these two colors. We're on 70% gray, so let's drop these down to 60. Let's change that one to a lighter one, just so we can see what we're doing. Now you can see we've got the central triangle done. And what we're gonna do now is use this to mark, give us a guide. Um, if we drag this shape over to the points meet up at the top, we now know that we need to make these internal shapes. So select all those, go to this bottom point and shrink it down and then try and get it lined up to there. Perfect. Now, this is just going to act as a guide rather than trying to slice things up, chop things up, whatever. We're just going to draw more shapes. Select this one. Command C, Command Shift V, we've pasted it in place. Hit A, which is your direct select, and get this anchor point. And we're just gonna drag that guy over to that shape there. Let's just change the color to a lighter one. Then we're gonna select this shape, Command C, Command Shift V, drag that point with select A, drag it up there. Great, let's change that one to light still. Now with V, select that one, and hold shift and select that one. And then alt and shift and drag across there so it stays in line. Under your rotate tool is reflect. So reflect that over, click okay. And bring him in until he snaps into place as well. So we're almost there. Select this shape, command C, command shift V. Just direct select that guy, drag him down to there. And apple C. 
uh, command C, command Shift V, and drag that point over. You can hold Shift to do it in a straight line until it snaps into place over there. Right, colors. If we just wanted to do this gray, which is fine, okay, a bit boring, um, you can just go through your, your different tones, the, the 80, 70, 60, 50, whatever you want to do. If you want to actually get these monochromatic looking colors, you can, if you signed up to CC, which you should be, because no one steals these programs, um, Adobe Color CC is a website. And when you hit create, you have different options. And one of them is monochromatic. And if you move this color wheel around to wherever you want it to be, it gives you five monochromatic colors that are gonna work in that kind of logo situation. It's great. You can save it directly once you've saved it. If you go to your Adobe Color Themes and My Themes, it'll be in there. There's a few there. There's the red one that I used in the other one, and there's some old ones there. If you struggle with colors, you can explore, click explore, and there's popular, most popular, um, ones you've appreciated in the past, random ones, if you use most popular, so let's do that, we click these little buttons here and add to swatches. And you can see it's just appeared in my swatch here. So let's do this. We want these two shapes here, select with V and hold shift and click that one as well. We've got those two selected. We want those to be the darkest. So let's hit the darkest there. Then we want these three shapes. So Hold down shift, click those three shapes to be the same color. The next one along. We're going to need, hang on, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six colors. We're going to need a few more colors, but it's not the end of the world. Click this shape, make them the darkest. And we're just going to manually bring that down a bit. So just tweak these values down a little bit. There, yeah, looks good. Select that one, shift, select that one, and we want the next one on. Select this far left one, we want that one, and select that top one, we want that one. And that is pretty much it. Looks nice, nice colors. Um, we have got that polygon hexagon shape in the background, the stroke outline that we use as a guide, so get rid of that, and drop a little shadow underneath. Get your ellipse tool, drag a little circle out about there, and get rid of the stroke. Now you're gonna fill this with your darkest background color. Um, let's just unlock that. So Alt Command 2 unlocks the background. Let's get that gradient there. Drag that color onto our swatches and lock that background down again, command two. Select this circle, hit the gradient there. Let me get rid of those and drag that darkest color in there. Now, you can't tell there's a difference because they're both the same color and 100%. Click the right one and drop it down to zero on your opacity. Now you're gonna have to redraw it in with the tool. So hit gradient. Drag this out so it fills a shape. There. Press Command and the left square bracket until it goes back behind it. And then you can just tweak the location of the gradient. And you can even make that one a little bit darker. Just go by eye until it looks back right. There we go. Select everything, drag over, and make it whatever size you like. Now the good thing is, once you've done one, you can Alt, click, drag, do another one, and just select the colors, not the shadow, just the colors, and go up to edit, edit colors, recolor artwork, click edit there, click this little uh, link harmony colors button, and then just drag your colors around to whatever you want. That looks quite nice. And there you have it. I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you want to see some other tutorials and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.